Hey everybody, today I'm going to be teaching you how to make hibiscus paper flowers from crepe paper. The supplies you're going to need are 180 grams crepe paper, metallic paper in yellow, this is like a cardstock or a text weight paper, a glue gun, 18 gauge wire, pan pastels on a sponge, corsage tape, scissors or a cutting machine, and the templates of course which are linked below this video. You will need to cut out the following number of petals. You'll need five hibiscus petals and 10 to 12 of the small center stamen petals. So let's gather our supplies and cut everything out that you need to get cut and start building this beautiful paper flower. Here I have my five petals cut out and my small stamen pieces. You'll also need to have a small strip of um, crepe paper cut out because we're going to be wrapping our 18 gauge wire there in that as well. Um, these are the pan pastels I'll be using also to shade the paper with. So let's go ahead and get started here. Um, I have my 18 gauge wire here and um, I'm just going to be wrapping this thin strip of crepe paper around the um, wire and what this does is it's kind of two-fold purpose. Um, the first is that it thickens the top of the wire a little bit to make it look a little more realistic um, to how the stamen at, inside of the flower and the stem inside of a hibiscus would look. And the second purpose is, is you notice I'm doing it in a pink color here which is actually the shade I'm going to be using to shade the hibiscus petals with my pan pastels. And um, that just kind of creates a nice um, authentic look to the flower to where if you look at a hibiscus in nature, you'll see that um, oftentimes the center of the flower where the stamen is um, has sort of a different color blending into the center of the flower. So um, that's the purpose of this um, wrapping this here where we're creating sort of a different color effect inside of that hibiscus flower. So just wrap that all the way down the stem, stem and secure it with glue at the top and the bottom. Um, if you wrap it tightly enough, you'll only need to secure it at, with glue at the top and the bottom. So go ahead and do that first. And then we'll start um, adding our stamen to the very top of this wire here that we just wrapped. So I have all of these little pieces cut out here. You'll need about 10 to 12. And um, I include these in the templates. If you're hand cutting, you can use a very small flower punch from like a craft store, which is this here. Um, sometimes even I like to use that even though I have a cutting machine, it can just be a little quicker um, than having your machine cut out all the little intricate pieces. Um, so all I'm doing here is I'm just sort of um, pinching them with my fingers to get the petal edges to stand up a little bit so they have some dimension to them. So instead of them being flat, I'm just pinching them so that they stand up a little bit. And then we're going to be gluing them around the top of our, um, our wire there that we wrapped with our crepe paper. Okay, so the next step here is just to start gluing them around the very tip and top of our wire. So I'm just adding a little drop of glue to the very top and then I'm just placing um, one at a time these little stamen pieces. And so when you get underneath that, that top one there, you can just add enough glue that you can probably place two or three at a time just kind of glue around the entire stem and then start picking up and sticking these little pieces right to the tip there of that wire. And this is a really cool technique because um, it looks very much like a hibiscus stamen would look in nature. Um, you could do maybe like a fringe center for this if you didn't want to do this part where you kind of cut fringe with some scissors and then wrap it around the tip of the stem. But I really like going this approach because um, it just looks very, very authentic um, and looks very pretty. So you'll just add a little bit of glue each time and then just stick these to the top. Um, like I said, I use about 10 to 12. Um, just use as many as you feel is necessary to sort of achieve a even look. And you want about maybe three quarters to an inch of the tip covered in these little stamen center pieces. So 
So your center should resemble something like this at this point. And you can go ahead and just set that aside for a moment here because now we're gonna work on shading our petals. And I'm just pulling my um, additional mat over here with my pan pastels. And make sure you have sort of a sponge or a stamper to be able to shade these with. Um, pan pastels are really wonderful, but in my opinion, they are very, very messy and they get on a lot of things and even though for the most part you can remove them from any surface with either an eraser or um, even just some like alcohol wipes um, or a magic eraser um, they can sometimes leave stains on like maybe table surfaces and stuff so always be very careful um, I'm just grabbing a little bit of pigment here from the pan pastel and I'm just sort of shading the bottom <clears throat> half of the flower the flower petal here you want to add a little bit more color to the very tip um, the bottom tip of the flower there and then kind of shade a little lighter as it works towards the top of the petal because that's how it would look in nature it would be darker towards the center of the flower and a little get a little bit lighter as it works towards um, the top of that petal there so I'm just doing that with all of this I'm going to speed this up just a tad here um, and then once we do that, we're just going to wrap these beautiful petals around our stem. Now I have all of my petals ready to go and I'm going to grab my glue gun and along um, the inner side of one of the sides of the petals I'm just going to add a little swipe of glue and I'm going to overlap. You're going to overlap about halfway into the petal, a third to halfway, and you want it to sort of be at like a 45 degree angle. You're going to repeat all that with all five petals. So it's kind of like you're just creating sort of this fanned out effect, you know, like if you were to fan out a deck of cards, um, that's kind of what you're doing with the petals here as you build. So the next step here is going to be to place our um, stamen wire in the center here and you want to make sure that you place it so that some of that pink that we wrapped, that crepe paper that's in pink that we wrapped around the stem is showing. You don't want the, um, the yellow portion of the tip of the stem to butt right up against the very um, bottom center of the flower when it's closed because then it won't look like a hibiscus. Um, so just add a little bit of glue to the center bottom and place your stem right over it and then go ahead and add some glue to one side of the pe open petals and close it. It's going to probably feel a little awkward um, as you're doing it and it is, um, but just hold it till the glue is dry. And then if your flower still feels a little bit kind of unstable, like it's flopping around and you feel like the petals might come off if you work with it too much, add a little bit of glue to the very base and then go ahead and wrap some corsage tape around um, the very bottom of that flower and down the stem to cover up that extra pink that might be left over there. And this will really reinforce the base of the hibiscus flower um, so that it is much more um, stable to the stem and it's not moving around on you as much when we go to fold these petals down.
Now comes the part where we start to shape the flower. It kind of resembles a hibiscus now, maybe what it would look like before it bloomed. So if you're making a lot of these, then it can be um, nice to kind of leave a few maybe at this point. But if you want a fully bloomed hibiscus, you're going to need to start to bend the petals down. And again, this part's going to feel a little awkward. You might feel like you're going to break your flower, um, but just gently work with bending those petals down a little bit at a time. And you can see here that it kind of looks like I'm destroying my flower, but I promise you won't as long as you're being, you know, you want to be gentle, of course, but you, you need to get the petals to bend. So work on just bending those petals outwards. And then we're actually going to shape them in a couple other different ways that are going to make it turn into a hibiscus even more. Once you get the petals a little bit more open like this, I want you to grab from the bottom center of the petals and slightly stretch it out so that you're cupping them open. See how I'm pressing my fingers underneath and slightly pulling at the crepe paper from the bottom center. You don't wanna stretch the edges of the flower, you just wanna stretch from the center very slightly. And it'll create more of that cupped, um, bloomed hibiscus petal look. Now, um, once you get a little bit of that cup kind of down and open there to where the flower looks like it's kind of blooming and the petals have a little bit of dimension to them, um, you're also going to want to go around the entire um, flower and you're going to want to make sure that you kind of pull the petals up at an even um, layer. So some of my petals are kind of hanging down a little bit below the others and it's making the hibiscus look not as hibiscus-y, if that's a word. Um, so some of these gaps between my petals where I'm pointing here, I'm just adding a very small amount of glue underneath and I'm just pressing it up to the petal next to it so that it sort of makes the petals um, touch a little bit more and it makes the flower look a little more even. So just do that anywhere where you feel like the petals aren't coming together as evenly. And then once you do that, um, go around at the very tip of your petals and kind of just pull gently with your fingers um, opposite directions to create sort of like a wavy effect to the edge of the uh, hibiscus. Because if you look at, again, hibiscus in nature, they sort of have um, slightly wavy edges to them. Um, so that's kind of creating that effect here as we pinch and pull the paper very slightly at the top of the petal there. The last thing to do is going to be to basically wrap your hand around the petals and sort of push them down a little bit more. Push and sort of squeeze a little bit. Um, and this will sort of give it even a little bit more dimension. Hibiscus flowers can look a little flat if you don't do this step. So really try to just curl those petals down a little bit more by using your thumb or your hand just sort of pinch the very tips of the of the flowers down and back. So it makes it look a little bit more um, curved and looks a little more authentic. And you can see here, it really is now starting to look like a hibiscus flower. And you can make a whole bunch of these in different colors and reds and pinks and, and yellows and play around with the shading. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, it's really fun. And I'm gonna show you a picture here I did with um, all of my uh, flowers together. And I'm gonna be teaching the little plumera you see here in an upcoming video as well. I'm kind of in a tropical vibe these days. So I will see you guys in the next video. Find free templates and tutorials on abbykirstencollections.com or shop this template on catchingcolorflies.com.